All right, team, a quick video to introduce you to the How to Pass Comps study group template. I think this is a killer app for the Comps study group because it will allow you to collaborate at a high level with great efficiency. Let's dive right in. First, quick notes on how to use the darn template. I'm going to go over most of that right now, so there's, you know, unless you're trying to learn the finer points of Notion, you probably won't need the tutorial again. Um, a quick note here on, which I won't go into in detail now, it's quite simple. Um, I'm going to hover up here over the share thing here. Share, invite your, your group by, with their emails, boom, you're done. It's that simple. So more details in the, in the help there. So you're all part of the group. You all have permission to use the workspace. Whenever any of you logs into Notion, you'll see it on your left-hand side navigation bar. And you'll be able to click in here. And everyone will be able to do the things that you need to do. And in my conception of your study group, um, there's a couple of important things that you're doing. First is you are all contributing smart notes to the database. And so I have made that front and center here. The second thing is you are having meetings. So I have made that the second piece here. And then, of course, everyone needs to know when the heck they are. So you've got all your details about that. And then a big calendar to make sure nobody misses a meeting. All right, let's just jump in to the smart notes database real quick. So um, if you've watched the other video, this is going to seem really familiar because it's the same exact approach to database. And I've sort of set up two different kinds of templates in it. The first is the smart note template. You click a note. That's a smart note, and you will see that it's already got the um, template that I recommend for taking a smart note. For every smart note, you'll add your own keyword tags. Um, if you are assigning these for each other, you are going to be able to um, assign a due date. You're going to assign a note taker. That person can tell you when they're done, right, or in progress. And um, it could be a note or an essay. If you guys have other types that you want to add, go for it. Or if you want to do synthesis notes, like for a special kind of a note, whatever you might have. Right? Um, and then uh, we, the second type is, of course, a practice essay, and that has the other template applied to it. Um, it can also have due dates if you want to you know, each write on the same question for a, uh, a meeting and then compare answers, compare notes, that kind of thing. This could be a great way to do it. All right, um, and again, you'll see this table format here shows you the name of the article, the status, is it you know in progress, not started, done, whatever, the due date you guys have assigned it, if any, who's the note taker going to be, the tags, once you've um, done the reading, you'll add tags, and what kind of type it is. I think that's it, right, okay. Now, to make things sort of maximum easy for you, um, I've added a few different views, pre-baked views. So this is the all view. So this is going to be everything. There's an A to Z view, which is uh, a list view, a simplified view. You don't see all the same table stuff, but just a list view in alphabetical order uh, with tags and names. This one organizes it by tag so that in alphabetical order of tag, you can sort through things kind of quickly like so. And then I have one just for essays on the notion that essays are kind of a special special thing that you might want to have on your own. Now, if you're comfortable with Notion, you can add other uh, views if you like. Um, I've got a link in the tutorial section um, to how to do that. So that's easy enough. Right? So if you want to add a new smart note, you do it. It says new smart note. You give it a new name, right? New name, book name, right? And then you can open it up and you're going to want to make it have the smart note template by clicking that one. Boom, it's got the smart little template, you're ready to roll. You want to assign it to Susan, she gets another assignment, it's going to be due next week, sorry Susan. I don't know the keyword tags because that's her job. And you can see it's already populated. Because it's a template, it's populated with the note tag and she's ready to go. All right. And as you go, you guys can um, just kind of keep stacking them up here ahead of time if you like. Every meeting you can add the new ones, what have you. Uh, meeting notes. Now, you know, I recommend a weekly meeting. This is the best way to be accountable. This is a great way to keep your motivation and inspiration up. And so for the, um, for, for these, the properties 
are, you know, if you add a group meeting, boom, it's automatically called group meeting, which is not very exciting. Feel free to have your own. You're going to add a date. You're going to add a time, you know, 2 p.m., whatever you like. You're going to add a location. If you want to have a drop menu here, then you can do that, but you can just type in the location, that new place, right? And then you can open this up, and I've got a agenda template, which you guys can change if you like. I have instructions for how to do that, too, in the tutorial section. Um, but just a basic agenda, and Bob's your uncle. You're off to the races. And then just so you have the big picture sense, so you can plan out your months and your weeks ahead, you can get a good look. Um, and you can go kind of last month, this month, next month kind of a thing, right? And always know at a glance when your meetings are coming up. Notion is an incredibly powerful tool. This has, however, a very focused purpose. And so this is it, man. One page, super powerful, uh, easy to keep all your stuff here and build that killer uh, smart notes database and when you're ready uh, you can read in the tutorials how to dump all of these things into your own other second brain if you want to com combine those uh, at some point all right that's it uh, again feedback or uh, questions always hit me up at hello at getyourwritingdone.com good luck <laughs>